to do a show like Mary Poppins on Mother's Day and have families come and see uh, mothers and daughters, mothers and sons, it's really inspiring. When my mom first saw me Mary Poppins, it was a pretty amazing event. It was really special because we used to watch the movie all the time. She just always tells me after performance that she only watches me. If there's any plot points, she missed them all. I'm the youngest of four by many years. She would put on ballet tapes, and so I would always grow up watching, you know, Barishnikov and all of these amazing dancers, and I'd just be like, oh, mom, I want to do that so bad. I want to do that so bad. And my brothers being brothers are like, no, 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 no. We'll get made fun of. Especially with dance. I think she's influenced me so much because my mom and dad, they fell in love dancing. And every time I see them on a dance floor, I see that spark. I see them fall in love all over again. And my mom, like, she'll get jealous if my dad <laughs> is jitterbugging or dancing with someone else. Like, she can't wait. She one day took it upon herself to start making me costumes directly from those ballets. And I would, like, parade around the house when my brothers were at school. and pretend like I knew what I was doing, and then when they got home, it was like our little secret. When my mom was a little girl, she went out on a date with Dick Van Dyke. She thought it was a date, but he kind of thought he was babysitting her. And for years, she always told the kids, she said, oh, you know, I, I dated Dick Van Dyke. You know, we speak Japanese at home, by the way. She's not very, very uh, you know, fluent in English. So a lot of the dialogue gets missed, but Every time anything can happen, we perform that number. She really, really feels the sentiment, just the possibilities. She feels the hope and this collective energy with the music and the visuals that just always makes her glow. And she actually said that to me. And I was like, I'm going to do that number for her. This Mother's Day, I'm going to be Skyping in with my mother because I cannot be with her, unfortunately. She happens to live in Africa. She works for the government in libraries. So she's over there teaching children how to read. When we did the show in LA, Dick Van Dyke came and did uh, an evening where he had a cameo and he played the bank manager. And uh, I said to him, you know, Dick, my mom is coming to see the show and uh, you went out on a date with her about 68 years ago. And he said, I did? And I told him the whole story. And he said, well, tell her to come back after the show and we'll, we'll catch a late screening of something. <laughs> Mom, happy Mother's Day. I love you. You always tell me that I'm your treasure, but you're my treasure. And I'm so thankful to have you in my life. Because I don't get to see you every day and it's hard for us to talk on the phone because you're so far away in Africa, I just want you to know how much I love you and how proud I am of you. Hi, Mom. I don't know what else to say other than you're just amazing and thank you for literally always being there for me at every turn. Mom, happy Mother's Day. I could not ask for a more incredible mother. You are the one that gives me strength as a woman in this world. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I look forward to going to work and then coming back and uh, having dinner with you. I love you and uh, thank you for everything.